Nothing, not even Forest New South Wales, can hide from Google Earth. Logging for wood chips is not easy to see. It's usually a long way from town, and until recently, they'd leave what they called a visual protection strip along roadside so you couldn't notice the logging as you drove past. And if you were really persistent, they'd keep you out by declaring the logging site a prohibited zone with a fine of up to $2,500 if you were caught entering it. But then along came Google Earth. These red arrows point to old log dumps where they stack the logs before loading them onto trucks. They used to replant the log dumps with tree seedlings, but now they call them assets to be used again and again every time they log. These yellow arrows point to old snig trails where they dragged up the trees from where they grew and were cut to the log dumps. They're one of the worst points of erosion. Remember, we're looking at these from about a kilometre up in the sky, and we can still see them clearly. The logs are taken to the stockpile at the Eden Chip Mill, from there to the chipper. Then they sit on these chip piles for a few weeks before they're shipped to Japan to be made into paper. Within three years, they'll be carbon dioxide.